Let's continue to explore new features within the Maximo Application Suite Maximo Manage. And we're going to look specifically at new role-based applications, work orders, and workflow assignments. I can access them from the operational dashboard, or I could also access them from the navigation menu. When I open up work orders, it's a very different view than what I might be used to seeing in quick reporting and work order tracking. I still see work order information in my row column format, work order description, location, and other fields. But also over here on the far left hand side, I can see what filters have been applied. I have filters for work status, site, and an is task. Now these are what we call views in the new role-based applications. And if I open up this dialog here in the middle, this will show all the views that I have access to. Those views can be public. They may have been created by me or someone else, or they were or private views. If I want to come in here, let's look at our preventative maintenance work. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And now again, my query and my record set has been refreshed. If I scroll down here to the bottom, I'm going to see the number of records that I have. Before I had a larger record set, now I only have two pages and 14 items. And again, if I scroll over here on the far right hand side, I can see additional fields. But what happens if I needed to see some different fields than what is displayed here? That's real easy to do in your role-based application. You simply click on this icon for Manage Columns or Enable it. And now this is going to show you in these black boxes all the fields that are currently, currently displayed. If you want to add additional ones, select Manage Columns. And this will bring up a dialog and it'll show you all the fields that are available in the work order tracking or work order database table that you can add. I'm just going to simply add one here. There's so many fields in work order, but let's just grab actual start and I'm going to say OK. And now you'll see our last previous field was in ta is task. Now actual start is added and it's available to me here if I scroll down. So the other thing, this me scroll over just to show you that field. Actual start is shown over here on the far right hand side. But now maybe this is really important to me. I want to save this from my views. I can open it up, navigate to the very top of the dialog here, and I'm going to save it as a new view. I'm actually creating this on a Wednesday, so I'm going to go ahead and save that as Wednesday. I'm going to make it publicly available for others if they want to see it. So again, now what I've done is I still have that same filter set applied, but I've just simply added a new column that might be important to me. Another thing that I want to highlight while we're in the work order application is the ability to create a new work order. It's a really nice simplified view capturing those critical fields in Maximo. I can come in and give it a name. I'm going to again call this my Wednesday demo. And my spelling is my spelling is, needs work. That's what I'm going to give it for my description. I can come in here, select my work type, open up the dialog box, and I'm going to say it's going to be a corrective maintenance work. Click on the blue icon whenever you're not sure. Let's just click on the plus button and give it a priority of two. And then I could continue to fill in all these other fields. However, they're not required, so I don't have to, right? I can see right away that there is not, not a requirement to fill those out. So now I'm just going to simply collect, select Create, and that's going to create a work order number for me. It's really kind of nice how they've hid some of those features like that auto num because it's always read only in many cases. So it's, it's just a really simple way to create a work order and be able to get that in the system. So that's a very, very top level overview of work orders. But let me navigate back here to the operational dashboard and let me bring up the new workflow assignments applications. And again, I could have accessed that from the navigation menu. When I open up workflow assignments, now what I see in this case, I still see my records in that list column view. And also noticed here that I have that same view functionality and manage functionality. 
What really important drawing my attention are these metrics that are displayed at the very top. They're showing if I have any workflow assignments that are overdue, due this week, or priorities. In my case, I have three that need attention. I need to take action on these, either approve those or route them, but I'm way overdue. But also it's giving me much more information that I might be able to make that immediate decision on what to do with that particular record that I need to review. Again, very clear, concise, role-based applications. So those are the two that we wanted to highlight to you here. I'm in a Map Maximo Application Suite 8.10 environment. Both work orders and workflow assignments were introduced in Mass 8.9.